how's it going? It's Vasco from the Angular University and I'm super excited to bring you this Build an Angular 2 application with Firebase course. So in this course we are going to assume that you saw the previous lessons on Angular 2, namely that you are familiar with components, directives, the router, forms and service layers. But for Firebase, we will start together from scratch. Actually, the application will be built from an empty folder using the Angular CLI. In the Firebase part of the course, you will learn best practices for data modeling, you will learn how to structure your data, you will learn how to use the Firebase push keys, you will understand how the Firebase SDK works. You will also learn how to set up security rules for your application, and do authentication in Firebase. You will learn how to use the new Angular Fire observable based library to interact with Firebase, the real-time database. Also authentication. In the Angular 2 part of the course, you will put in practice all that you have learned on previous lessons. You are going to set up an application from scratch, from an empty folder, you are going to configure the router, you are going to use the CLI to generate new components and you are going to implement them. We are going to implement many of the common patterns that you will use in just about any application that you build. You will learn how to set up a master detail, client side search, you are going to learn how to protect parts of your application using router guards, you will implement forms for creating new elements and edit existing elements. Also on the Firebase part, you are going to learn how to do REST calls to Firebase if you need to, and you will also learn how to build a custom backend in Node.js if by some reason your system needs a custom backend, that is also possible. We will be using the Firebase Q library for that. You will also learn about the Firestack architecture which enables us to build applications without any REST API involved. So we will implement a client-server communication mechanism that uses Firebase queues as the interaction mechanism. Let's do a quick preview of what the application will look like. Let's do a quick demo of the application that we will be building in this course. So it's an Angular CLI powered application that you will be able to run from the command line in development mode simply typing ng-serve. Once the webpack build finishes, the application will be available here in port 4200. The application's frontend is built with Angular 2 and the database that we are using is Firebase. So the application is meant to have many of the common patterns that you will use in a real-world application such as, for example, we have here the home page. We can do here, for example, some client side search. Let's search for template. As you can see, the list adapts as we type in the search box. So this application has, uh, for example, a master detail example here. So the application is a small e-learning uh, platform where you will have a list of courses. So you have here two courses. And if we click view on the course, you enter the detail where you will have here the first page of lessons for this course. So each entry here is a particular lesson and you can click to the next page, to the previous page. So we will cover pagination in Firebase, which is another common pattern that you will use probably in just about any application. If you click the lesson, you will be redirected to the login screen. So this is another common pattern in an application uh, protecting the access of uh, screens that are only meant to be accessed by authenticated users. After login, we can access the screen that was previously protected. So it's the screen that displays a lesson. We can navigate between two lessons of the same course. Let's do that. So you can see that the lesson screen shows the title of the lesson, the duration. And here it shows a video. This just links to my uh, YouTube channel as an iframe. So we are going to see how in certain cases we will be able to sanitize HTML that we construct dynamically and inject it into the page. So this is an iframe that was dynamically injected in the page. It's uh, another thing that you will you might have to use on occasion. So you can edit the lesson or you can delete it. So if you edit the lesson, 
we will load here a form that uh, allows us to edit the lesson. So the course also covers forms. Let's say that, for example, we want to add a lesson to this course and we have here a similar form to the previous one, but now it's uh, sort of in new creation mode inst instead of in edit mode. We are going to see how to implement this. It's another common pattern that will be used in just about any real application. As I've mentioned, the database is in Firebase, so you will learn how to set up your own Firebase real-time database, how to understand authentication rules, security rules actually. You will learn how to do REST data modification calls to Firebase. You will learn how to data model your data in Firebase. What are those Firebase push IDs and how to use them? best practices for data modeling and this is only actually a small overview of what you will learn with this course i hope you understand the overall idea the goal is to apply existing angular 2 concepts to the building of a small application learn firebase from scratch and the focus is on the patterns that you will use always in any application also the focus is put on observables observables are used everywhere from the batch client to the Firestack example to the service layer. So without further ado, let's get started from an empty folder. If you have any ideas or suggestions, just contact me on social media or via my website. But I hope that you already have a good idea of the contents of this course.